uh, welcome back to this PHP tutorial. Um, we've gone a long way by building um, something that PHP can come in into. So just quickly put on your exam. And then start the Apache and start the MySQL. I'll just quickly go to your browser. I'll be using Chrome today. Alright, this is up already. Okay. And then remember localhost slash php tutorial. PHP tutorial slash index.php so in our last tutorial we achieved when we click on read more it will take us to single post.php where we will have a full detail um, news and uh, the date the title the image in full and also we have this more aside in our website, which is called more blog posts. Okay. Now, when we click on this, it returns us still on that single page. Now, the idea is on our home page, which is the index.php. When you click on this post, on any particular post here. Now, using PHP, we are going to output and um, bring out the full details of that news. That is the full image, the descriptions in full, and the date. Okay? And also, in this aside bar here, when we click on any of these news, we will also see the details of that particular blog post. Alright? So, with PHP, we we'll look through our database to get this more blog post, and from the database, we'll also get these things. All right, so we're not yet in the database area, but with time, as we move on in the course, we'll get there. All right, quickly open your Sublime Text. All right, and so we're going to be creating a new file. And we'll call this PHP hyphen syntax dot PHP. Okay, control S and then save. So you can just get rid of this. So in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about printing out our text integers decimals and flow to the web page all right so for you to write a php syntax you need to have the opening tag and the closing tag okay so for you to open your php you have the less than sign and the question mark with the php name then the Question mark and the greater than sign. Now, with this, you have your PHP active. So, everything you write inside of this tag are strictly PHP syntax. Now, with Sublime, once you just type PHP and hit your tab, it generates that code for you. Awesome, right? So let's kick off. Now, for you to add put something to the screen, PHP has provided us, this, provided us with functions to do that. Now we have the echo. Echo. Now, having this single quote or double quote does not really matter. Now, what matters is what you put inside okay so we can say welcome to php now notice that there's a semicolon 
at the end of this statement. So in PHP, at the end of every statement, your semicolon should be there. All right. So Control S and let's go back to our browser. And then let's open a new tab and say localhost. Localhost slash PHP tutorial. PHP tutorial slash PHP iPhone syntax dot PHP. All right. Now we can see welcome to PHP. All right. So if we go back to our code, we can play around with this. Welcome, Mr. John. And then you go back. You see that welcome, Mr. John. All right. So we have another um, function. An inbuilt function given by PHP to print out strings, integers to the web page. All right, we have print and print. We can have you are welcome and your semicolon. Remember, always close your statement with a semicolon. Let's save. Return back to your browser and Control R to refresh. Now you can see "Welcome, um, Mr. John," and you are welcome. All right. So now I'll also be teaching us how to create a variable in PHP. Now you might have come across um, C++ where the data type must be specified before the variable name, okay? But in PHP, is um, a free journey and an easy task. Now, before creating a variable in PHP, you have to put your dollar sign. Now, with this dollar sign, PHP knows that, all right, this guy wants to create a variable. Get ready, okay? So, once this dollar sign is set, what follows next is the name of your variable which is a user-defined name. Now you can choose to name your variable whatever you like, but right now we're going to go with our first name. Now you can choose to initialize your variable at, at declaration or declare your variable and later initialize it um, in your code, all right? So let's have, let's initialize it with the assignment operator. Now this is the assignment operator, and then we want this to be John. Remember, every statement you must close it with a semicolon. Okay. Now, how can we print out this John to the web page? All you need to do is your echo first of all, and then the name of a variable, which is first. Name. And then when we go back to the browser, you refresh. Now you can see John. Welcome, Mr. John, and you are welcome. All right. So let's quickly get rid of this. And I'm going to be showing you what we call concatenation. Okay. Now, concatenation is actually joining um, two things together. So you can join um, um, a, an integer and a string, and also your variables together with a string. All right? So let's try concatenation right now. We have a variable, first name, which have a value, John. And so how can we echo this out? We use echo with our double quotes and then say you are welcome mr now in php the period sign is used 
for concatenation. All right. Now in your C sharp or anything, the plus sign is used. But in PHP, the period sign is used. And we have the name of the variable, which is first name. Now remember, when you are calling your variable, your dollar sign also should be attached to it. It's not left out. Okay? So let's save. Go back to our browser. Control R or you refresh. Now we have you are welcome, Mr. John. Awesome. Now you can have more than five, twenty, hundred variables in your program. So let's have another variable and we'll call this last name, which should be equal to Smith. And let's just have another variable, H, which is equal to 56. And let's have another variable, address, which is equal to Enugu. Okay. And let's have another variable, country, which is equal to, um, which should be equal to um, Nigeria. All right. Now we have these variables in our PHP. Now, how can we print this out the same way? And just say echo last name, control shift D. Echo H. Now control shift D to duplicate. Echo address. Control shift D and echo country. So let's save this and go back to our browser. So you refresh. Now we, we are seeing um, Smith, 56, Enugu, and Nigeria. All right. Now, how can we make this more interesting? Now you cannot bring in your HTML into the question. So let's get rid of all these. Like this. All right. So just type HTML and then hit your tab button and it will generate this. All right. So let's have PHP syntax. And instead of this, let's have our header history. We have um, user user details, and now we have um, a paragraph with name. Okay, and we have another paragraph. And we we'll have um, age, and we have another paragraph. Address so another paragraph of taking the country. Okay. Now let's save our work and check. You okay, just ignore this and refresh our browser. Awesome. Now our user details, name, age, address, and country. This is looking really beautiful. All right. Now, how can we put these PHP variables inside of our HTML? Okay? Now, remember I told us that before you can start writing your PHP, you have to first have your PHP opening tab and closing tab. Or simply, you can just type PHP and hit your tab button. All right? Now, I have said earlier that for you to add put something to the web page, you need to use the keyword echo. So let's have echo. Now, what are we echoing out? Let's echo out the first name and the last name. Okay. So echo 
So echo first name. Now remember the concatenation in PHP using the period. And then let's give a space. Like concatenation last last name. Okay, let me just reduce this a little bit. All right. Now remember, after your statement in PHP, you need to end it with a semicolon. All right, I just have to increase that again. So let's save this and go back to our browser. Now refresh. Awesome. Now we can see John Smith. Okay. Now in our age, we do the same thing. PHP echo age and it is a semicolon all right and the address you do the same thing php you hit your tab or your less than sign with a question mark followed by php and then your question mark with a greater than sign okay and then we have echo we have echo address make sure that the name of the variable is the same all right okay on track so let's have another one so echo echo country and you save this all right so let's go back to our, our web browser and then you refresh awesome so now all the data in our PHP, they are echoing out in our HTML tab. It's really awesome, right? Yeah. So let's change this John to James. And let's change his age to 65. Okay? And let's change the address to Lagos. And the country should still remain Nigeria. Now save this, go back to your browser, refresh. Awesome. You see that the, the values, the values change automatically because they are coming from PHP. So whatever we change here automatically changes here. All right. So I'm going to teach you a new syntax that PHP brought out for echoing your strings. Or your integers okay so let's have another variable here and let's call this gender unless the gender is equal to male all right if you're female you can put female I'm a male all right so let's have another paragraph and let's call this gender so we have our PHP opening now, instead of having this PHP here, put an assignment operator there and then call in the variable gender. Now, save your work and go back to the web browser. Refresh. Also, you see that? So, this syntax here is the same thing as this okay so that is all about variables and at putting to the web page so see you in the next tutorial and if you're not subscribed to this channel please subscribe and also share these videos to help someone out there get a skill all right